Welcome back to Leisure to Treasure. Well, in the last episode, we managed to go top of the table. We might struggle to stay there, though. Today, we play second place and fifth place. Let's see if we can keep this top of the table run going. Come on, the Minster men. <laughs> Right, let's get straight into this big, big game. Although we're only seven games in, we've got the chance here to move five points clear of Hartlepool and the way they've been playing, they potentially are going to be our biggest rival this season. One thing that does worry me is our pitch is fairly poor. <clears throat> and as a footballing team, is a little bit of a worry. So, the side we've picked to go up against Hartlepool today, Zabret in goal, Hadji, Johnson, Phillips and Blake at the back, got Little and Neil, O'Connell and Kay as the wingers, and then Cullen and Campbell up front. We're starting to get a sort of match fit 11 now. We've had a few players go out on loan, one player leaving also, but I'll show you that after this game. Do have a few updates on the transfer side of things. Important thing is there are no incomings. Let's go. Very defensive shape Hartlepool have got there. Looks like they're playing for the 0-0 draw. Really need to change that throwing tactic. But then again, a goal has come from it. Definitely wasn't from, from the tactic though. Just feel like we need Hadji thrown short to a winger there. Someone with a good cross. Possibly ping it to Dan Neal and let Dan Neal whip it in. But Kay scored at that back post with a volley. We'll maintain this positive approach. Bray, Blake with a long throw. It's come back out to him again. Whipped in. Phillips is there. Not known for his crossing. But we've got a penalty. And Ben Little's going to take it to make it 2 0. He looks calm and collected as he steps up and rifles it in. That's his first goal of this season. And it's 1 0 York City. 2 0 York City, even. And this is why. I play the big games in front of you guys because these boys seem to put in the big performances whenever they know they're getting recorded. Johnson across to Neil. Neil Campbell's there. It's three. It's exactly the same as the last episode against Stockport. We're running riot again. Look at this ball, just clips it forward, Campbell's there, and we're 3-0 up. Just going to praise the team. Should hopefully see them into half time. And look at the absolute dominance of this game. 73% possession. Seven shots to their one. And they don't have one on target. We've had five. I'm going to tell them we're very happy with the performance and to keep going. 
and Sully Hull Moors could potentially be second in the league come our next game, which is obviously against Sully Hull Moors. Harrogate have gone ahead there against Dagenham and Redbridge. I'm just going to make all three subs now. Just change the game around. Biggins can come on for Neil. Craig can come on for Little. And we'll get Max McMillan on. Pop him on there. Liam Cullen being quiet today. Corner to them. And they've headed over there. He's actually beaten Phillips to the ball as well. Who's probably our best header. They've changed their tactic for the final two minutes. Went really aggressive. And there we go. Had you with a man of the match performance. York turned dominance into victory. And we are now three points clear. Harrogate are now the team in second place with Solihull Moors third. So, yeah. We'll go through that little bit of housekeeping I was telling you about. So if we go into transfers transfer history so regarding outgoings Ethan Fitzhugh has now gone out on loan to Golchester same with Ollie e Ewig he's gone out to Dover then Ledwidge the left young left back he's gone to Chester Will Tizard's gone to Geisley now, all of these players are on loans where they are down as either important or star player. Will Tizard has gone to Geisley as the star player. Ollie Dyson's left on a free. He was simply... We've we've made a loss on him. We, we triggered his extension um, at the end of last season. And then just with signings, it's just meant that he didn't have a place in the squad. And I am worried about morale. The deeper and deeper we go into the season. When it comes to match time on the pitch. And Ollie Dyson was about the fourth or fifth choice left winger. He wasn't going to get enough games. I think he was down as a, a first team regular. Regular starter. And he hadn't touched the football all season. So he's... Gone out to Colchester and is actually starting for them, which shows you how how good we are, where he doesn't even make it on our bench, but somehow Colchester, yeah, they are in League Two. And he's he's playing the games for them. There he is on the left wing. Can't get into our team, but He's uh he's broken into their squad already. And Harry Flatters, the our young goalkeeper. He's gone out on loan at Boston United again. He goes there as first choice goalkeeper. So I'm expecting him to hopefully progress. Again, these a lot of these guys are on one year deals. The guys who've gone out on loan, so depending on how much growth they make and what we do in this league depends on whether we extend the contracts or not and as far as income and goes there's nothing to update you so i will go away again and the next time you see me we'll be playing third place sully hill moors and we're back for the sully hill moors game let's get into this match Change the team slightly from the first game. Zabret in goal. Hadji, Johnson, Phillips and Blake at the back. Got Little and Neil in midfield. Undukwu comes in on the right-hand side. Bun coming in on the left. And Campbell and Cullen up front. 
starting to get a lot more players match fit now as the squad's kind of thinning itself out a little bit more. We'll submit the team and get into it. Johnson is being watched by quite a lot of League One teams. Quite a lot of League One sides are interested in buying Connor Johnson. I'm not massively against selling him, as I've said before. I think every player at this level is replaceable. Connor Johnson, on although he's done well for us, again, he's a three-star current ability defender. I've got Obi, who's not really getting much game time at the minute. He can come in to replace him, no problem at all, and then see where we go from there. It would leave Tinkler as our cover. But I mean, we've got is it four players on loan. So we can, we can have up to six in this league. So there's always an opportunity to bring a loan in. Blake. Little to Bun. Down this left-hand side. He's waiting for Blake. Plays it into him. Blake, he's got a good cross on him. Great cover and defending there by them. Here we go. Corner kick. Blake to whip it in. And it's Johnson just over. Well, I say just over. A mile over. And Harrogate Town have gone ahead there against Torquay. Good tackle by Johnson. You can see why he's wanted for League One. Hadji, big header, Cullen, holding the ball up well, to Neil, back to Hadji, Hadji plays it to Undukwu, nice little neat play here, Hadji has it again, back to Neil, comes all the way back to Johnson, plays the ball over, it's bouncing, Cullen's in, he just let that bounce over his head, defender didn't read it, and it's 1-0 York City, and look at the away fans going wild. Look at this. Johnson just hoofs it forward. Evades the defender and Cullen. Cullen straight onto it. Great anticipation there from him. Just showing you the offside. He was well on. Throw in. Hadji to Unduckwill. Hadji plays over the top. It's, it's either Bun or Campbell. And do they have a break on? No, they don't. Dan Neal. Back to Little. Neal again. Plays it to Campbell. Good defending there. But they're through. And he's going to beat Phillips with pace and Zabret. That is why Zabret is still my number one keeper. He never lets you down on one-on-ones. His rating's gone straight up to a 7.2 with that as well. 7.3 even. Playing out of his skin since we signed Jake Turner. Jake Turner, who's a very, very able goalkeeper as well. But Zabret has just done nothing wrong for me. So I'm going to keep faith with him for now. Even though on paper, technically Turner probably is the better goalkeeper. Point the finger. We'll just have a little word with Dukwu. There we go. He has been getting a bit of abuse from the board about his poor performances lately. Harry Bunn with a free kick. What a worldie that is. Must be about 25, 30 yards out and he's pinged it straight into the top corner. This is probably your goal of the season. Look at that. Ooh. Easy as you like. Let's have a look. 
See how we're doing. Right, little. Little's tired. Recover him from a knock, but we're just going to bring him off. Bring Craig in for him. And Dukwu again. Not playing well. I'm going to bring McMillan on. And we'll go like that for now. Just use the two substitutes. Look at the actual performance overall. We, we are doing well. Because realistically, it is quite an even game. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll just bring Charlie Savage on. Give him five or ten minutes in that midfield. Just to get him used to playing. He's, he has been out injured, so getting him back in. But looks like we are going to be five points clear here. Do they get a comeback goal? It's offside. It's been disallowed. It was close. Oh, that is tight. That is as tight as it gets. And there we go. York 2, Sully Hull Moors 0. Look at the XG, we deserve it, but on the balance of play, it was a really, really tight game. And Zabret is our hero. And do you know what? I am going to single him out for a little bit of praise. Don't often do that at the end of games. I very much normally just give the guys a group. Well done. Fantastic. And that's six games in a row now for us. Is Brett enjoying his little pat on the head there? And that was 17 game unbeaten home run that we've just ended there. So that must have gone on from last season. First team to beat them in 17 games at home. That will do. There's an awful scouting report. We'll discard that. Discard that as well. Scouting meeting. Keep scouting him, see what they say. And I suppose we better find out when we're coming back for you guys. So I'm going to go a little bit longer than I normally would, I think. Because obviously we've just come back to back there for them two episodes. So what I'll probably do is I'll come back here. So we'll come back the middle of October. So we've got six league games between now and then. I should show you a bit more of the shape of how the league's going to go. We'll come back for the FA Cup fourth qualifying round and we'll also play Avent Waterlooville after it. They're the two games that we come back for. And then we can play around from there. Potentially it might be another quick turnaround and we come back for Kings Lynn and South End or South End and Aldershot. Definitely want to get South End in there somewhere. Because I know there's uh, plenty of uh, South End fans kicking about. So yeah, if you've enjoyed that, as always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to continue on this journey with me in uh, Leisure to Treasure. And yeah, see you in the next one.